Hello, Shalu here from Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Here's my one a day. Um, I've been MIA. Daryl called me out yesterday, and uh, so here I am. You know, he said, You got to do this a one a day for 33 days. And um, I really had to get thinking as to why am I not committing to doing something that is going to help grow my business, that is going to help bring information to people, that is going to, you know, just overall improve my life. Why, why am I hiding? What are you hiding from? What is it? You know, it comes down to judgment, right? Criticalness. Oh, you know what? I don't look good today. Oh, you know what? I'm just not ready. Oh, no. And we make up all these excuses to um, impede our own growth. And I don't want to do that anymore. So here I am. Um, judgment. Wow. You know, it's something that I, I grew up with. That's what you did. There was always comparison. I grew up in a large family, so there's always comparison. You know, oh, well, you know, she's taller. She's fatter. She's skinnier. She's prettier. She dances better. Oh, she cooks better. She does not. You know, like there was always comparison. And we don't realize it, but in that competition, it becomes very hard to just feel worthy right you're just there's always something that you're not good enough and I'm done with that I'm done with that I mean it's been you know I think it was about three years ago I four years ago I started my journey with Daryl and started uh, learning and going through um, and I can tell you 100% I have a whole lot more self-love today than I did when I started and um, no more. No more. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm evolving. I'm getting better. And, and you got to watch out for those little s traps because, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll sort of go back and you'll make, you know, three steps forward and you'll end up going two steps back because someone will say something and the old patterns will creep up or someone will do something and then you'll get hurt again because you didn't top up your heart that day. So I'm here to tell you that, you know what, I, I'm back. I'm, uh, I have been super busy. It's not just a thing of hiding, but life is super busy. I have a lot going on. And you know what I love best is that um, I can do it all. And it's because I, I choose to do it all. You know, I'm not a, a victim going, oh, my God, I got too much to do, you know, and I get stuck in that um, overwhelm because there is no overwhelm. This is just, you know, um, being lazy on my part, and I'm not going to be lazy anymore. Um, and so I'm going to also, I'm going to say it here because it's something that whether you call it being critical of myself or just judging myself, it's one of the goals I've set for myself. And, you know, um, I've been very good at, you know, doing the mirror work, looking at myself and going, I love you. And I do. I am so happy and I can't believe, like I literally get up in the morning and pinch myself going, this is my life because I am so excited each morning to get up and start my day and do everything that I choose to do, right? Um, one of the things I have been sort of lacking in is... Um, the physical exercise part of it and um, so I'm gonna commit here right starting today I'm getting back on track to make sure that there is at least a half hour of physical activity that I do what you know between the squats the breathing you know the the crab stretch right all of it um, I do walk every day you know so but to me, I, I don't count that because we all walk. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I need to because I know um, that's one of the things that um, at my core that I, I am sort of going, why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you doing that? So I thought, okay, well, if I'm going to start some good habits, well, one is that 33 days I will be on here and I will commit to sharing a little tidbit with you that I hope will, um, you know, be... Uh, valuable for you um 
and it'll also help me get ready for, you know, uh, I'm host, hosting um, a healing circle along with Lori Foxall on uh, November, end of November, November 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th here in Barrie. So if anyone's interested, right, uh, check out uh, the Braveheart Nation. And also you can call me, 705-828-2257, and uh, we'll get you all the details on that. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about why, why would anyone want to take part in this um, healing circle. And I look around and there's so many people that, um, you know, they're, they're, they're like, oh, I'm, I have a call with my therapist or I have to go see my therapist. And um, when you look at them and you ask, okay, well, you know, what, what is the term? Like how long? And it's been years they've been seeing a therapist. I mean, what, how is it helping? When is the end game of that, right? Like when does that therapy end? And that is why I would say and encourage people to come take the healing circle because it's, we will help you go through and start to identify what your chokehold is, right? We will help you by teaching you different tools that will help you connect with yourself. We will help you give you tools and, and different things that you can do that will reignite that excitement in you for you. For you to really see what a beautiful, exquisite and exciting being that you are. And the amazing life that awaits you when you tap into that. Because... I'm telling you, I, I was always a nice person. I was always a hardworking person, right? But I wasn't going anywhere. And it's because I struggled with self-worth. And once I took the course and I realized that the missing link was that self-love piece. And thanks to the course and Daryl's teachings, I was able to tap into that. And it changed everything in my life because we go out our day expecting everyone else out there to value us, for everyone else out there to love us, for everyone else out there to see how fantastic we are. Yet, do you see that when you look in the mirror? Do you see that? Do you feel that? And I can tell you honestly, I did not. Until I took the course and I learned the tools of how to build that relationship with myself. Until I learned how to fill my own heart. To not go around like a beggar expecting a compliment here and a compliment there and, and I love you here, right? And it totally changed my life. And I realized just how much I was judging myself. Because I didn't think I was good enough. And remember, what you focus on grows. You know, we all have things in us that we can do better. There's, there's, we can always get better. But there's so much that we do that is fantastic. Yet we'll focus on all the things that we can't do. How about focusing on all the things that you're fantastic at? Because what you focus on grows. And what I found is, you know, the things that really don't interest me. It's not that I'm good at them. I just don't care to like, you know, for example, I, I'm a people person. I want to talk to you in person. I want to hug you. I want to squeeze you. I want to love you. I want to have the conversation face to face, right? Social media is really, it's something I have to learn. And so I just invested, right? I just invested and I'm, I'm, uh, starting, I'm so excited because on Thursday I start my course with Mindy Harley on learning how to do this. So there's people out there, there's support groups out there that will help you and teach you. And when you start investing in yourself on how to do all that better, it becomes easier, right? Um, so there's so many people that do what I don't do and so things that I don't really have interest in, I can outsource that, 
right? But again, even to be able to see where do I need or where do I want? It's probably not a need because if I chose to, I could learn all that stuff. I'm like, you know what? And just like I said, with social media, I know I have to learn this. So I'm investing in myself in learning and, and growing so I can do that better. And, um, but people show up and it's amazing. Like I've, I've attracted people in my life that the things that I don't care to do, they're fantastic at. And so we, we complement each other, right? We work together and that's how you build community. We are all not meant to do the same thing because then so many other things just wouldn't get done, right? So it's about tapping into what is my superpower and how can I serve my community with my superpower? And then when we all look at our own superpowers and start coming from that aspect and start serving from that aspect, there is no competition, is there? We're all amazing. So... I would encourage you today to tap in and tell me, you know, print it in the comments. What is your superpower? What is it that makes you feel amazing when you do it? What is it that just comes so naturally to you that it's not even work, right? And it's a way in which you can serve your community. So I'll leave you with that and just know that we are doing the Healing Circle here in Barrie. And if you're interested, reach out to me at 705-828-2257. Just know I love you. Have the best day ever.